most people, 2020 is probably a year they want to forget. I was fortunate. I was able to escape the insanity of COVID-19 just by driving to the nearby mountains and hiking into the wilderness. Sure, 2020 had its fair share of ups and downs, but for me personally, it will always be remembered as the year when I hiked every single month with so many amazing people. Sharing experiences with friends and family means everything to me. This is for them. July 9th, and the lake is still frozen. And when I looked at my watch, I realized July 9th is the uh, anniversary of the passing of my mother. So my mother passed away on July 9th in uh, 2012, so eight years. So uh, I miss her every day, especially on those days where you have, uh, when you wanna ask somebody for advice, there's certain advice that only parents can give you that you can't get from anybody else. And you know, you, you catch yourself sort of picking up the phone because you think you're gonna call your mom and, and your mom's not there and my dad's not there either. So I miss them both. This is for you guys. This is really gorgeous.
nobody in the parking lot. A little trail maintenance. Sorry, I'm in your way, but I can't back up. <laughs> Not every day you see somebody carrying a baguette and a bottle of wine in the winter on the outside of their pack, Mr. Robertson. <laughs> oh man. Okay. It's a good three feet. snow here. Make no mistake, folks. First couple of hundred yards are very interesting. You know, we've gone through some pretty extreme weather this uh, winter season. We we hike Cascade in minus 30 and so now it's tempting while we're hiking or packing to shed more weight and uh, you brought only one quilt or one quilt, one quilt and uh, I got a lightweight pack but it's a temptation you got to resist you don't want to uh, forget that it's winter just yet because we're in the mountains and the weather can turn here very 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 quick What the occasion is. Beautiful. No kidding. Yeah. Holy cow, folks! All right, this like. I wanted to do this. I, there's no way I was following the trail. I wanted to go. Look at this. Look at this. Woo! You know he's a chef when he's got a frying pan, a pot, his coffee mug, his plating tongs are somewhere, I don't know where, but, and then the he carries his Malden salt around his neck on the chain. Some people get engaged and wear a wedding ring on a gold necklace, but Evan has a little thing of Malden salts. All right, yeah. another one.
quick overnight. Go home now, have a nice Easter dinner with the family. I think this is the last weekend we get to go hiking because uh, there's snow now. There's still a lot of snow, don't get me wrong. But um, it's, getting it's getting wet, it's melting fast. You know, the temperatures are climbing above zero. So There you go. Everything's gonna dry. Clean the clothes, I'll go back in the hamper. And the cooking gear was already out of there and cleaned last night. Anything with food on it was clean last okay. night. Say it, what's the best thing I can do for ultralight? Lose 10 pounds and you'll have 10 pounds less. You think that's funny? No. Lose 10 pounds. I thought it was funny the first time you said it. Now I don't feel like saying it on TV. Well, you said on TV. Do you think I need to lose 10 pounds? No, stop bugging me. How many pounds do I need to lose? In your opinion, what would be the perfect amount of what should Why I lose? Weight? You're perfect the way you are. I'm perfect the way I am. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. My beautiful wife, Karen. Well, I didn't actually have a plan B, but this turned out to be a good plan B. I'm feeling pretty happy right now. Uh, trail's dry, well used, it's a horse trail, follows this creek. Heads into Jasper, also heads into Fiddle Pass. I'm not going to go that far. Um, snow coming in last night. Check out this monster. I could hear them all night even though I was five kilometers away. first hike of the summer season together. This is cool. Eagle Lake. And we got here wickedly fast. Oh, I got... 
tried this in at home before doing it? Or? No. No. Just a thing, huh? Well, folks, hope you enjoyed that hike. Um, what do I call this? I don't call this, uh, well, it is a destination because you're hiking to get somewhere, but it is not a long distance hike by any means. It's a short destination hike. You could actually do it in, in uh, you could go see the waterfall in an afternoon and back. We chose to go and camp at Eagle Lake and base camp from there and then go see the waterfall the second day. Perfect, 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 perfect hike for somebody who is new to the sport and wants to come out with a friend to there or if you're trying to do something solo perfect perfect hike first pack rafting trip of the year going to do an overnight on the bow river But now I want to go hard left or hard right because there there's an island here and that's the island where I'm going to camp. Woohoo! Whoop! Flat. All right, let's set up this teepee. Uh, last time I set it up was in the middle of winter. There. Once it's set up, you just gotta pull the corners and and make it taut. All right, twenty min or twelve minutes. So oh god, I just realized that. Uh, the extra batteries for the GoPro are on my desk at home so the only battery I have is the one in this camera and it's showing that it's dead so uh, I probably won't have any footage of tomorrow morning maybe I'll have a little bit on the iPhone but uh, rookie mistake I forgot the, ca the batteries all right mama and I going on a hike with uh, Evan and his wife Amanda we haven't been on the hike together Karen since when August last year we were supposed to do a trip to Peru, but that got canceled. This is better, right?
Back in one of my favorite areas, the uh, Highwood River area of Kananaskis. All right, once I go, it's like committing yourself because it gets fucking deep. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to find another spot to cross two days from now. That was cold. That wakes you up. Holy samoli. This is it. Is it? I've encountered bears on this trail twice. There's big white bears right here. Fuck. Let me show them to you. Hey bear! Go away! Hey bear! Go away! Bad bear, go away! Go away! Shit. Uh, it's pretty, but I'm shaking. I'm not happy right now. There he is. He's curious and he's not moving. weird to describe but I'm sitting here now and it's peaceful they're very quiet and the thoughts are out of my head I'm thinking about the fact that the nearest human beings probably at the parking lot you know uh, 12 kilometers that way or maybe at Carnivan Lake it's eight nine that way but for the last hour while I was climbing it was like chaotic in my head you know there was looking back on it felt like the, it was noisy you know there was there was the waterfall but my brain was constantly working thinking about where I was going and perhaps dreading this part you know that, the part that I just did so it, it was really it's weird to describe but it felt like looking back like my brain was very noisy and now it's very quiet again but the noise will start again as I start climbing so Pretty sure that's where I'm going, to the top of that thing, and then I'm going to come back down after. My heart's racing a little bit. I don't know if it's because I'm nervous about the height, or I'm just hoping that I get a, a way down without having to backtrack. Well, this is promising. Shoes. <gasps> what is that? Molson Canadian, and it's gold. Cheers, folks. All right. This is our staging area.
this is the part that's so cool. We just float down the river and then we walk across here and we intersect the trail. First time I ever did that, it was, just feels weird, you know? Not where we want it to be on day one, but we're not complaining. The, the, um, what's this creek called? Terrace. Terrace Creek is challenging to cross, so we decided not to. What'd you think of that? That was uh, pretty gnarly. Once you started going, uh, we were all committed. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, when you... I saw the water come up to your waist, I was like, I'm not leaving your side because I felt you were going. I felt I was going. I yeah. thought, yeah. But once you take that first step, you go. Don't, yeah. Don't push upstream and go. Whew. Oh, Canada. This is us. I thought we had a glacier view. You have to walk out a little bit. Life jacket, backpack, bear spray, raincoat, sleeping bag, puffy jacket, clothes bag, mattress, raft. Oh my god. Oh my god. Evan, holy shit, man. Wow. <laughs> We're eating chicken wings with the most incredible view. This is gorgeous. Are tender. Key to ribs, actually. It's pulling off that silver skin on the back of them. Approaching the confluence of the North Saskatchewan. We're kind of in a delta here and it is super slow, super wide, but still gorgeous. I'm just lying back in the boat, letting the sun beam down on me and enjoying the scenery. Got another hour or so of this. Just peaceful. We did it, man. Woo! That's the uh, mighty North Saskatchewan. And we're along the Icefields Parkway. Looking forward to this hike for a long time. Uh, I'm with Stuart right now. Uh, Stu, uh, you know him through his channel, uh, How's the Hike? So Stu flew in from uh, New Brunswick this morning, so he's tired. There goes Stuart. I don't know, I hope you guys won't criticize me for this one. He, I really wanted to go back with him, but he's twisting my, he's pretty convinced that he's just gonna go and limp out and go get an x-ray and that his hiking season is done. First day we climb a tree and maybe then sit silently and listen to our thoughts illusions of someday cast in a golden light no dress rehearsal this is our
I tilted your cloud, and you tilted my head. Rain falls in real time, and rain fell through the night. No dress rehearsal. This is our. I'm almost in trouble. A little bit further, and then I gotta take a break and maybe even consider putting up the tent and seeking shelter because this isn't giving up. This is snow now. We're going to take, we're going to do a little contest here and Evan and I are willing to take a couple of people, maybe three, and we're, and we're not guiding you. So we're looking for experienced hikers who'd like to join us. Yeah, it's important to stop and enjoy the scenery once in a while, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, man. Yes, man. Nice work. Your key. Nailed it. Woo! That was some epic hiking, man. Three days, 40 kilometers plus, three oh, lakes, yeah. half a dozen gorgeous meals, fine company, new friends, yeah. uh, scenes that I'd never, places I'd never been before. I even went tobogganing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. That's where we came down from over there all the way down gnarly the four amigos we're off this is the nigel pass trailhead It's been a very long day. It's the heat that makes it hard. And the trail is so overgrown that we were having a hard time gaining any momentum. It's 420 and we're just still a good kilometer away from camp. But we had a 16 kilometer day. We've been gone for eight hours. So we're averaging less than two kilometers per hour, which is brutal, which is slower than yesterday. 
Oh, yes, my man. What an absolutely stunning view. Unbelievable. Wow. Just doing a little store village. There you go. It's a five star hotel. Well, actually Your mind, Evan. I'm just happier than shit right now. This is amazing. Yeah. What an adventure. You know, this is my backyard. This is what hiking in the Canadian Rockies is all about. Vistas like this that are amazing that you have to earn. And being in the wilderness, sometimes days without seeing another person. This is incredible. Like, this is what I live for. Holy shit, look at the back of your foot, Robertson. Is those blisters? Okay. Yeah. That you didn't have before? No. So I just finished <laughs> South Desk a week ago. My knees are beat and I wasn't going to go hiking, but I can't help myself. So I'm here with Jeff and we're going to do something moderate uh, four days, but we're going to go visit 
um, Batan Falls and hopefully get up onto the Batan Basin and go do some exploration. I just looked back and I got dizzy. <laughs> this is a very, very, very hard, tedious climb. It's easier when you're climbing a pass where you have these views. It's okay now, but once you get into the trees, uh, these kinds of climbs are tedious because you have no views to encourage Whoa. you. Whoa! Whoa! We're not even there yet. Oh my God. Wow! Oh, well, Jeff, it's hard to come to places I haven't been, man. We found one. Woo! Woo! Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! <sighs> wow. Done. Wow, what a great evening. That was so much fun. So this is basically the conclusion of my 2020 season. Uh, between now and Christmas, I won't get to hike again, but uh, camera's cold on the hands. Hiked every single month uh, this year overnight. Um, January, February, March, April, all the way to December. In fact, this is my 24th overnight trip this year. I think I stayed under the stars about 51 nights. So thanks everybody for uh, watching my videos all year. 
and uh, or longer for many of you. And uh, I'll be back in the new year. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. Ah, vehicle.